We are in Japan and we need to go that way actually because we are at gate 28G. We are actually in Tokyo, Narita. Yeah, we are in Narita Airport, which is also yes. Tokyo. Wow. This airport reminds me of like a Vegas hotel. Look, they do have the Japanese pancakes. I told you. I know, baby, but let's go to our, let's find our gate first and we can roam around in a little bit. It is super cute. Okay, I'm telling you this, doesn't this airport remind you of like a Vegas hotel? Not really. Wow, look how cute. That is so cute. You guys, I'm so speechless right now. This is beautiful. All right guys, we'll catch up with you in a little bit. So 
we have finally arrived to our destination. We have been on, I was gonna say on the road, but in the sky for the past, what, 11 plus 18 hours today. 18, hours, 18 motherfucking hours. Oh, I'm just so happy to just be walking again. Yeah, be able to move around. And I'm tired though, I am tired. And I cannot wait to show you guys where we are. officially arrived to our hotel. Hey, what is this? Okay, then. I want one of those. Sawadika. <laughs> that means hello. We're going to give you guys a tour. So we just got to our hotel room and look how cute. They have a little note there for us. Some treats. Yes, yeah, some matcha. Okay. No, not our most favorite flavor, but. But hey, we're gonna, we're we're gonna try it. We came a little too late for the market because I have a little market going on right now, but it's, Really late, but look how cute. No water on the side. Yeah, like how cool is that? Like, and is this like if you need something like room service or what? Or it's a light? Oh, it's a light. <laughs> how dope is this? Um, so if you want to be reading or on your phone, you don't want too much light. Yeah, this is so dope, and guys. And slide this open. Whoa. How neat. I'm not going to show myself because I look crusty as fuck. Hey, this is a really good size shower. Why don't we get something like this? Look, you have two shower heads. That's pretty dope. Anyways, guys. There's not much to show you guys, but we will keep vlogging tomorrow and Cleo and I need to go to sleep. All right guys, so we are officially on our day one. It is so beautiful out here. This is truly like amazing. Ooh, get a girl working. This reminds me like of a mercadito, you know? Yeah. Your pong balls? 100 baht, you guys, that's like three dollars. Lo que queremos ahorita es encontrar donde comer porque, believe it or not, there's a lot of Indian food. Lots of Indian food. I feel like we're in India and we don't like Indian food. We came here for, you know, noodles and shrimp. Well, look, there's like um, fried soup with shrimp. No. There's I just fried want rice, fried noodles. I want noodles and shrimp. Okay. Fried rice with shrimp. Okay, that's doable. Okay, so there's this option. No. Oh, we don't. See? You want pad thai with shrimp. shrimp. Okay. So that's like, no. that's like less than $3. Okay, you guys, so we finally found some food that is not Indian food that we are willing to eat. So I got some fried chicken with some rice, and it also came with this little soup. And 
Sasha got some shrimp fried rice. And what else did you get, baby? Um, I got egg noodles with seafood. Seafood. And then, so you guys, all of this food, including the water, came out to $6.40. Bon appetit. Okay guys, so we are still in the same building as where we were when we were eating our food. There's a lot of different like shops. So we had found some really cute sandals for um, 100 baht, which is like $3 and something cents. But they didn't have our size in any of the sandals that we wanted and we were so sad. Oh kid, they were so cute. Yeah. I was so upset. Yes. So upset. Oh. oh look, there's more sandals over here. Oh look, these are 100 baht too. What is this? What are those? What are those? This is like mid-city traffic in Bangkok. It's a little hectic, especially to try to cross the street. It is scary. Yeah. McDonald's, you know there's always gotta be a McDonald's everywhere you go. You guys look at these soaps. Aren't these dope? And they smell delicious. Do they smell bomb bomb? Yeah. They smell like tail the bomb. So Sasha has been wanting a milk tea, like a taro, you know, and we hadn't been able to find it anywhere and we finally found it, you guys. So we're gonna get a milk taro with pearl and it's 19 baht plus five for the pearl. So it's 24 baht, which is really, really cheap. Look at these sodas. Interesting. Another thing that looks pretty cool. What cool is that? The soy milk bubble fire. Like, that's I know. Dope. Those, those over there. The toast. Show them the toast. Look at this toast, you guys. It's like toast with like jellies. Okay, you guys. So this is like another little shrine and we passed one earlier and we didn't understand it but a local just explained it to us so basically you come and you pray and then down there there are those red sticks that you grab and you put them inside of the fire right here and then you pray and then they bring them like food and drinks like she brought a drink over there yeah, they bring them a red drink. I don't know why they bring that one a lot, but they do. And so, yeah, you bring your drink or food, light your fire, say your prayer, and that's it. So pretty. Hi, right, you guys. So this is Chinatown. It looks like a lot of these people are just setting up at the moment. Um, we've realized that a lot of what happens around here is at nighttime. Banana cake. <laughs> cake? <laughs> okay. Pretty good, she said. Pretty good. 
As you can tell, we're in the middle of some fucking chaos, you guys. And let me tell you, it's been hard figuring out what is going on around here. It is 6.56 a.m. And we literally jumped off of our bed because I'm not even kidding. The bed was moving. It was like rocking. Rocking. Like, rocking. Like, she like, can't even move it I right now. Move it. And you know, it's it kind of like when you're having sex, like the squeaking noise. Like, it was, it was literally rocking, was rocking back and forth. And then the shower head started moving. I heard it. Yeah, dude. And every I was like, dude, what the fuck is that? Dude, we were so fucking shook. So I'm just kind of like. Yeah, see, there's more people like standing out because there was a big earthquake. Like, I'm shook. That was so strong. Dude, there is some people that are just also sticking their heads out. Like, uh, dude, like, what do we do? Dude, that shit was strong. Was like, really dude, strong. I'm telling I don't you. Think I felt an earthquake that strong. No, crazy. not at all. That was crazy. I'm telling I'm you scared. guys. I'm scared because, like, aftershocks, you know? Like, I'm. I'm on alert. I'm... She's ready to go, but look how cute this robe is. Oh my <laughs> All right, everybody. So we have made it to our destination for today, which is the Grand Palace of Bangkok. We need to follow her. She's our homegirl. She's our tour guide. And where is she going? <laughs> hey, guys. So we are currently at the Grand Palace in Bangkok. And I cannot begin to explain how beautiful it is here. We will definitely be showing you guys clips when we're able to because there's some places where we're not allowed to photograph. Yeah, no pictures, no video, no nothing. But there's definitely plenty that we can show you guys. And I swear, I don't even think the pictures or videos will do it justice. There's just so it's many just little so beautiful. details. And like, yeah. But let's get started. So right now we're gonna go inside where the Buddha is um, and we cannot take pictures and we have to take off our shoes. We'll see you in a little bit, bye. Mexico. Yeah. Okay guys, so right here is like a sacred little temple and on the other side is the Buddha and the dragon. This is like a bull and the um, one of the workers, she gave us three of these sage sticks. She gave us this yellow candle and then she gave us this um, flower right here. I think our tour guide told me it was like a lotus flower. So then we have to light our sage sticks and our candle. Our candle goes here, our sage sticks go there. We say a prayer. Good vibes only, guys. So she's gonna light her sticks. They're really hard to light. Tengo puras malas vibras por eso. I cannot get over the beauty, you guys. It's amazing, honestly. to allow people in there but I guess people don't know how to follow the rules. If one day they got to be invited me, I will invite both of you. Yes! <laughs> Fly over here again. <laughs> yes. It's so pretty guys. 
And then in there is where they house the bodies of those who have passed away. That are in the royal family. Yes. So that is so where the sacred bodies are. Right there. And they hold it up to uh, minimum 10 months. Yeah, minimum 10 months. And then they get cremated after that. So we'll be there, guys. <laughs> now we are at the Royal Theater, and it was actually included in our ticket for the Grand Palace, which was pretty dope. And it is called Khan Thai Mask Dance, and it honestly looks pretty interesting, huh, kids? That was a cool little story, huh? So we just busted a little mission and walked like 20, 25 minutes just to get to this restaurant because we couldn't get a taxi to understand where we wanted to go. So we're like, fuck it, let's just walk. Let's see if it's any good, I hope so. So we got our drinks and our food. I ordered sticky rice with cashew chicken and we have some veggie spring rolls. We ate two of them already. And then Sasha ordered fried noodles with veggies. Mm -hmm. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. So we stumbled upon this little night market. There's actually um, a lot of these. These are really common around here.
decided to come chill on the rooftop of our hotel. We're having some drinks. came across a shop that custom makes everything and, but I mean custom I mean custom like they're literally on the ground working like this is a shop that's beautiful look at them wow can can I come inside and see yeah okay Hi! Oh my god. Wow. Wow. I wish I could like take something, but best believe none of this shit fits me. Like, look at that dress. That's a dress, guys. I will never, my fat ass will never fit into any of this. Like, does it even stretch? That's what I want to know. Nope, it does not. So I definitely don't fit into any of this. That's sad. I really fuck with this dress. That's something like Nikita Dragon would wear. You don't know who that bitch is? She's a bad bitch. Wow. Look at that headpiece. Oh, look, she's making something over there. Wow, this is really cute. Why does everything have to be so tiny though? Well, they do say that us Americans are really fat, which is true. You see this? Here is another little shop with custom pieces. Like, these people are so creative. I'm very sad that we just found this place because honestly, honestly, realistically, I would love for them to customize something Dude, for this me. One's dope. This one's one of our favorite ones. This one's dope. But uh, I need like three of these to be honest. Like three of those to fit around my uh, body. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my god. Like imagine for Halloween, like bitch, you'll win this, like hands down. But well, look at them doing everything by hand, like that's crazy. This one's dope too. Yeah, did all of them are? I just love all of them. Once again, we are at another like street market. That's pretty much all you see here. There's a lot of street markets. Whoa. Guys, this is my jackpot.
for the box. Wow. Who knows how big or small. Wow. Oh, for the box. That's not bad. Hey, this is this is not good for right here. It's 200. But it's just that you need uh come on. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Alright guys, so it is officially dinner time amidst all this chaos. I got a chicken sandwich and Sasha got this yummy noodles with all this seafood. This is Muslim food. Muslim food. Squid, yes, it was mine, octopus, actually. Yeah. Squid, octopus, shrimp, and noodles. Yeah, and we got a yummy fresh mango smoothie. The guy literally, I saw him cut up the mango chunks and mix it in there. It was like amazing. Bon appetit. Okay, so we just finished the most beautiful night swim, you guys. It was pretty amazing with this view. Like, Look at this, it's crazy. We will definitely be doing this little activity, I'm sure a few more times knowing Sasha, she loves to swim. But yeah, it was great. Exploring a new area, you guys, that was literally like right down the street from our hotel and we had no idea. Let's go check it out. How cute. That's right, girl. Get your selfie. I can't. Like, everybody's taking a picture of Kenya. How beautiful. Just imagine how the rest of it's gonna look like that they're still working on. Oh my god, how did they put up this giant Christmas tree? Dude, I want to know. it's so huge. That is bold as fuck. This is why, this is what Sasha thinks we're gonna have in the house with high ceilings. <laughs> okay, obviously not this tall, but damn, look at that. Yeah, it's ginormous. So cute, you guys. Everything is so, so cute. Okay, you guys so we kept seeing this market pet in town so we just followed the paws and it's actual animals you guys how cute how cute are they soft are they soft yeah see bitches this is what they take off if you were us yeah hi baby Don't bite me. Oh, he is soft. Oh, baby. Hi, Tootie. Hi. 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 Hi, baby. He likes to be pet. Oh, my God. Look at these chickens. Where are your eyes, bruh? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't, don't bother them. How cute! Oh my god! <gasps> These are so adorable! So cute! Okay, they have pigs! Oh, the bunny! Hi, bunny! Hi, you're cute! 
Remember that they're trying to meet. I think we have food, I think. Oh, look at this one. Hi, baby. How cute. Let's go look at the fish. They're tired. I told you I want to miss his piggy. Hi, baby. I'm sleeping. The fact that they're all sleeping together. Hi, baby. No. You guys, I want one so bad. Comment if you think Cleo should let me buy one. They're so cute. You can feed them. Yeah. Look at the kitties and the doggies. Hi, puppy. Oh, these are so cute. It's a foundation. Oh my god, no. Look. I can't see it. Oh my god. Look how cute he is, the orange one over there. Aww, he's huge. Wow. There's puppies, I heard puppies. <coughs> how cute! Aww. So you can go inside and play with the dogs. I'm going to go inside. You just have to um, buy a So this is where we just had our buffet um, brunch. I would have vlogged before we started eating, but it was just hectic. Let me tell you, people here are crazy. And here is rum ice cream and chocolate ice cream. And Steph tried the rum ice cream and she said that it was really, really strong. Like it had a lot of rum in it. Huh, could it have a lot of rum? Mm -hmm. a lot of too much. Deep fried fish balls. Steph tried that. And I'm telling her I think it's actual balls. And she swears it's not. This is just like rice, more rice. Uh, and then this is dude this was not the same one as earlier huh there was this it's, oh it's down there it's just kidding okay i would show you guys the, like everything but as you can see there's people in line um over here is soup that's another soup this is crispy tofu salad spicy roasted chicken salad a uh, sausage salad. This is a, a salad, station. salad station. Thank you so much. And over here, there are mussels, shrimp, more mussels. Yesterday, they had oysters. There's more food that way. This is their like um, sushi station. Is this raw salmon? Yeah. Yeah. We have raw salmon in our sushi. Back home. This is a noodle station. Some Chicken balls. Dude, I think these are balls. Like they're actual balls? Yeah. That's disgusting. I think these are bomb. These are, are barbecue squids. Hi, barbecue squids. They're bomb. Veggies. veggies. I had some of those veggies. They were good. Potatoes. These, these potatoes, potatoes are good. Bomb. And this is the one that you liked. No, they changed it. Yeah, chicken teriyaki. Yeah, it looks different. Mm, chicken teriyaki. And oh. this looks good, but we can't eat it. Yeah, it looks really good. It's roasted pork with cream, uh, white cream sauce. Time to start our day. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. We are currently at the weekend market. These smoothies are so good, you guys. This is known as one of the largest markets in the world. It's really packed. We 
we've done already a couple of souvenir shopping. This is my fruta picada that I just love. You guys see a chilito right there? Like, bomb. You guys, we have done some major shopping. Major shopping already. But we are not done. We are on I a know mission. The bags are small, mm -hmm. but, but there's a lot of in them. Plus, all the clothes here are fucking tiny. Yeah, no, we've done a lot of shopping, you guys. But we are on a mission now to find other things that we cannot disclose of yet because a lot of them are souvenirs. Honestly, guys, one thing, they make me feel like I'm a sumo wrestler. Like, yeah, they're like, oh no, you need like a 2XL or something. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, seriously. But it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're just tiny here. One guy said, America eat too much. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, homie, we know, we know. So now we say we're from Mexico. Mhm. Mm <laughs> sometimes we forget. Yeah. Oh, they're ice sticks. Oh, look how beautiful. One piece of oil. Oh, one piece of oil. and rows of this actually very beautiful a lot of times you can even see the artist in action as they're painting them we've seen a few huh, kid? Okay. very pretty very pretty yeah those are dope walked for five hours and we didn't even get to see half of the market that's how big it was <laughs> Right there. Now 
I need to find mine, you guys. I didn't like any of the charms they had for myself. Stay tuned for a part two video coming to you soon.